Hello, welcome back to the Experiment Talk Show. I'm your host, Mimi, and today we have a special guest, Dr. Dr. Z. Hello, I'm Dr. Z, and I'm here to talk about an experiment I've been working on about my memory. Hmm. So, Dr. Z, why don't you tell us exactly what your experiment is? Well, I tested that if you study for a test while listening to a certain playlist of music and then listen to that music while you're taking the test, then it will increase your score because it will be easier to memorize. Wow, that sounds really interesting. So do you have any research to support your hypothesis? Well, short-term memory is actually controlled by a part of the brain called the limbic system. The limbic system is composed of many things such as the hippocampus, the amygdala, the cendulite gyrus, the thamulus, the hypothamulus, and the ip ipothamulus, <laughs> um, along with other organs. And when you listen to music, it involves using your hippocampus, which, as mentioned, is part of the limbic system. This means that music is indeed related to memory. memory. Oh, I had no idea. So how go... Ooh. So how can you go over how you tested this statement? So, the first part of my experiment starts off with the person memorizing um, a certain thing of cards by listening to a certain song. Then, they flip the cards over and they try to write down as many numbers as they can remember while listening to that exact same song. They have the exact same amount of time that they had to memorize. Then. After, we repeat the same steps as before, memorizing, without the music, and I give them the exact same amount of time, and but a different test, so a different set of cards. Then, again, they do the same as they did in the second half of the other test, which was pretty much flipping the cards over and memorizing. Again, I give them the same amount of time. So now, do you mind showing the results of your experiment? Oh, oh of course. So. My hypothesis was supported for the most part, um, so two out of three of my test subjects got a better score on the test while listening to music than the other. But um, I have a couple graphs here, as you can see. This one was from the first experiment. As you can see, test subject number one and two did had 100% on theirs, as test number subject number three didn't do as well. And then my second test, um, test subject number one still did pretty well, but not 100%. Test subject number two didn't do so well. And test subject number three still didn't get 100%, but did do better on the second test than in the first one. So um, That's really interesting. Why do you think that is? Like, what do you think affected that one test subject? To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. However, I feel like it has something to do with the methods that they use to memorize. Meaning that test subject number one memorized out loud for both tests, and test subject number two memorized in his head for both tests. However, test subject number three memorized in, the, in her head for the first test, which she didn't do as well on, but she memorized out loud for the second test, which she did better on, you know, the one that's out Well, that's all the time we have for today, so thank you very much, Dr. Z. Till next time, I'm your host, Mimi, and this has been the <laughs> Spirit Talk Show. Bye! Tell me when to go. Oh, go. <laughs> you want to start now? So that I keep going? Yeah. Maybe. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I don't like seeing this person. Hey, hey. Okay, go. Go. Oh, it's recording. Yeah, I'm going to get that part out. Okay. Hello. And welcome to, oh shoot, okay. Oh, of course. So, mm, well, I have a couple graphs here to show you, but my hypothesis was supported for the most part. And, okay, I can show the graphs. Well, my And this has been 
the talk experiment. In experiment talk. <laughs> experiment, <laughs> experiment talk show. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I can edit some of those out and just put them in blue. I would like to thank Mr. K for helping me with this project and not letting me give up on it. And since this is my last video assignment, I would love to thank my friends for bringing out my creative side and helping me with this video and all the ones that came before. Enough of it! Spilled water and broken glass. Your discretion 